Hello, my name is Akhil Agrawal and I work at Janssen Research and Development. Today I had the opportunity to chair a session at San Diego at the DIA 50th Annual Conference on improving the returns of invested capital in the pharmaceutical and biotech industry. My name is Alan Crowther. I'm the CEO of Alliance Life Sciences. And I, at the session today, I helped answer the question on what market access uh, can do in the development process to help improve the return on investment capital of the pharmaceutical industry. The key takeaway from my session was that in, in integrating market access into the development process can improve the, uh, the time to optimal reimbursement, uh, not just to regulatory approval, which is increasingly key to realizing the full value of a product uh, through its life cycle. I'm Frank Caddy. I am the global business lead for MediData Trial Planning Solutions. Key takeaways today, we talked about data uh, and, and informing decisions. Data from a cost perspective uh, and data, data from a complexity perspective. Uh, key end results, our data analysis are, were my conclusions. And my conclusions are you reduce protocol complexity, you will streamline your protocol, reduce cost. Utilize data that is appropriate relative to fair market value and valid as being representative of what the cost of clinical research is in order to negotiate with investigator sites. And my name is Richard Williams. I'm with Covance. I'm in the Global Regulatory Strategy Group. Uh, my task today was to bring together the, the information provided by Alan and the imp information provided by Frank and bring it into a regulatory context as well. As, and, the take home message I think was um, for successful drug development to return um, a positive value on, on invested capital, you really have to integrate uh, commercial, clinical trials and regulatory strategy into one unifying plan. I will be celebrating my 20th year in large pharma next year and I must say that I have witnessed a dramatic change over the years in the needs for the industry. In the 1990s, the industry was also all about best science. Now it has changed. Clearly, we need very good science. But in addition to good science, we need ways to improve the value of our products, to demonstrate that value to our payers, and also to reduce our cost of our clinical trials. Science is important, but it's not enough. We need all these ingredients to bring the next generation of medicines to our patients.